how to offer multiple payment options for products, services, memberships, or anything at all. Perhaps you want to offer, for instance, a yearly price or a individual price. Maybe you want to offer a membership or a price per workshop. Here's an example. You basically, um, this sorry, this web page isn't very pretty, but uh, you basically can on any web page or any product or any service on Techmatics offer multiple pricing options, whether that's different membership prices, whether it's a payment plan, whether it's a one-off price, whether it's a big bulk annual price, whether you want to offer a bulk price for bulk purchases or individual pur purchases. Basically, the sky is the limit and however you want to price your thing, you can do it in Techmatics. Now, there are many different ways to do this depending on what kind of product or service it is that you're selling, but I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way to do this. Now, before you create your sales page or your landing page, first you want to actually create the product itself. So I always do this personally down in courses and memberships. You then click on products and then you can go in and create your product. So this works for any kind of digital product. I also create services in here. For instance, you might have a done for you social media service. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't matter what the thing is, uh, but you can basically create these products inside here. The next thing you have is the offers section. The offers is the checkout that you make that will connect to a product. So I'm going to simply go to create an offer. And this might be, for instance, uh, I'm just going to try and pick one of the products I've already created here. Um, so let's pretend this one's a webinar. Um, I'm going to call this the XYZ webinar. And um, it's going to be a one-time price of, I don't know, $50. Press create. And we can now go and make this particular offer page look pretty, but I'm going to just publish this for now. We can add in an image for it. We can connect multiple products to this particular checkout. So if you want to give them access to other stuff, if they buy this one, you can just keep on adding those products here. You can create upsells and you can also edit the checkout so that it looks pretty. I'll just show you what, what features there are inside the section. Um, you can add in more notes about the particular product it is that they're purchasing. You can choose whether that banner's there or not and, and basically do all of the prettiness. I'm just going to take you to a preview link to show you what this looks like. As you can see here, I've not added an image. I've not added any kind of customization, but basically all this is, is the checkout. Okay. Now we're going to um, grab this link for in a moment. So get link. I'm going to just open a new tab and pop the link there just to save it for later. Now, please note, this will be connected to your domain. So you'll have your domain showing in there. Now, let's pretend I wanted to create another product, a pricing for this particular product. Let's go back into my offers area and um, I'm going to create a new offer. And it was that, I can't remember which one we picked now, some kind of webinar that I picked, wasn't it, for the sake of this example? I can't even find it. Um, I think it was the XYZ webinar. I'm not sure. No, it was this webinar. Title of this webinar here. <laughs> um, now, this one might be like, I don't know, an annual plan. Um, and that it's going to connect to that particular product. And we are going to make this one. You can make it a recurring payment, by the way, if this is a, a like a subscription. But I'm going to make this a one-time payment because it's an annual plan. And I don't know, I might make that like $1,000 because it's the annual plan. I'm going to press create. And for the sake of this demonstration, again, I'm not going to go in and edit the checkout and make this look pretty. I'm just going to push, publish it, press save. I'm going to get the link, copy the link. I'm going to open that particular checkout in a new page as well. So now we have the annual plan and we have the single one price purchase pricing option. I'm now going to go to my landing page or sales page where I want to sell these two different pricing options. So to do that, you're going to go into websites and funnels. You can choose what uh, uh, template you like from either of those sections. Um, I'm going to pick something in here. Let's go to the courses section, <laughs> see what we've got in here. Oh, there's nothing in there. Let's just create a whole brand new one from scratch. All right, let's just do from scratch. Let's call this um, pricing options demo, create. So what you name it can be changed later on. Don't panic. Now, while this is just loading to also keep in mind that you guys can connect your own domains to this as well. So this is going to be, um, the opt in or sales page for uh, webinar or annual plan. Okay. The path will be, I don't know, annual 
pricing options. Let's just only pretend I'm not worrying about this too much right now. Create funnel step. Now we need to add in some kind of template here. All right, let's um, let's actually use, I'm just gonna create my complete from scratch. Now, by the way, you can use um, templates over here, but I'm gonna do this from zero so you can see just how simple this process might be. So you can pull in all of the different sections that you wanna add. So um, go into elements over here. Perhaps I might wanna add some kind of image. Let's go and grab an image. Where's the image section? Drag and drop. Oh, is it gonna let me? Oh no, one column row. Add an element, add an image, choose your image. So you click on the image section over here and over on, it's on the right hand side today, <laughs> upload from media library. This is where you can um, actually use some of the media buckets that are in here, or you can of course upload your own images too. I'm just gonna pick a random one for the sake of demonstration here. Um, you know, you can add in um, other rows, for instance, if you wanted to make two columns here, you can add in text by dragging and dropping your text elements in. So uh, I know maybe I wanna have some text on this side, headline, um, and then maybe in here, we might wanna put a video. I'm not making this look pretty at all, obviously, as you can tell right now. <laughs> um, maybe in this section here, we're gonna have our two buttons, right? So now I'm gonna add into this section. We definitely have buttons somewhere. Where are you? There she is. We're gonna add a button in there and we're gonna add a button in there. And um, maybe we also want to add in some text. And this text might be the um, get this um, webinar on its own. And this one, we can actually just duplicate this too. And by the way, of course, you can change all of these fonts. You can change all of the colors. You can change all of the backgrounds. I am definitely not going for pretty right now. Or by the annual plan, okay? You can drag and drop, move everything around as you want to. You can drag that one up there. You can put more information in. If you want to add some space between these two bits over here, this is where you got your margins. You can see there it's adding some spacing in. Click on that one. Add a little bit of a bottom margin in. All right, so you can make them equal by seeing that that one's got a 10 margin and that one's also got a 10 margin. So you can see there, that's how we have now added in our descriptions. Then on the button itself, let's click on the button. This is where we're gonna add in the links to those little checkouts that we just made. So this one here might be called um, the uh, webinar only option. Okay, um, and I think I made that $50, I can't even remember. Let's go grab that one. There's the webinar, it's $50. You're gonna get that link and go back to your page builder. And over here, making sure you clicked on the button, you've got your button actions. Click there and we wanna send them to a website URL. Which URL? Boom, that's the URL to your checkout. Open in a new tab, press save, okay? I'm gonna ignore the metadata for now because we don't need to worry about that. Um, oops. Then we've got this one here, the annual plan. Let's click on that button. Oh, by the way, you can also change all of the colors and everything on this as well. So if I wanted that to be um, my, didn't find that color, you can click on here, add in your own hex codes, or you can um, use the color picker if you don't know what your hex codes are. All right, so I'm just gonna press yes, use color. Ah, can't move my mouse around over here. Um, press save. All right, now the other thing we got here is the annual plan. Let's click on that, scroll all the way down, change your button text to, I'm gonna call it the annual plan. And let's change the color of that. Okay, I'm gonna just pick something random. Here's our annual plan checkout. Grab the link to your annual plan checkout, go back to your page, scroll down to the button actions, and we want to send them to a website URL. The website URL is the checkout for the annual plan open a new tab, press save, and now that will all save. Da -da -da -da. And now if we go to preview, this should take us into what our web page looks like. Obviously not made it pretty, but we now have two different buttons. One is to buy that product on its own, 
uh, obviously not made pretty either. <laughs> the other option that the person has is to get the annual plan, which takes them to the checkout for the annual plan. So as you can see, using this concept, and of course, making it look prettier than I have in this silly demo, <laughs> is that you can basically, for any product, create any kind of pricing option, unlimited amounts, adding in your buttons, obviously presenting it however you like, and those buttons each take people to the right checkout, which then also can trigger automations behind the scenes. If you've got any questions, email us on support at techmatics.com. Happy teching!